Alright hosses, listen up. In this video, we gotta learn about the word continue. Now, I actually told you guys that I was gonna teach this in the last video, but then I got rambling on about comments and probably something else stupid. So, we'll go ahead and learn about continue in this tutorial. So, what I wanna do is I wanna make a list real quick. And I'm gonna name it numbers taken. And of course, I always like to pretend like I'm the coach of a hockey team. That's like my little um, dream in life. I'm the coach of the hockey team, coaching Team USA, and we beat Russia at the uh, I don't know, like uh, 20,000 something Olympics. So, anyways, that's my dream. Let's get back to real life tutorials. So, all of these numbers resemble people on my team their jersey number so of course what I want to do is I want to make a program to loop through and it pretty much says what jerseys you are allowed to have still so we'll make like a list from 1 to 50 and we'll include all of the numbers except these ones easy enough so what I can do is uh, let me give you guys just a little print statement here are the numbers that are still available so all the players who haven't picked a jersey yet can see this program and pick a number from this list so of course the first thing we do is put for n in range and I'll just put the numbers 1 to 50 actually let me change that to 20 it'll be easier to see and I'll change this to like 13 so of course this is gonna loop through the numbers 1 to 19 and I'll just make a simple if statement so if n in numbers taken and let me write this entire programs and then I'll explain to you guys what it does alright so as you can see what's gonna happen is it's gonna loop through the numbers 1 to 20 and it's gonna print all of the numbers except for the ones in this list right here so 1 it's gonna check if 2's in there and if it does it's gonna skip it so that's how you can kind of think of continue so unlike break whenever you know that whenever you have break it breaks out of the loop completely and stops the entire loop what continue is going to do it says okay whenever you get to this word continue whatever's after this in the loop just skip it and go to the next um, iteration of the loop so if something was after it, it wouldn't break out of the loop completely and stop the loop. It would keep, keep going. It would just skip what's ever after it. So just, just uh, kind of explain a couple of these loops. So the first time, n equals 1. So it says, is 1 in the numbers taken? Nope. So I'm going to print out 1. Next time, n equals 2. Is 2 in the numbers taken? Well, yes, it is. So continue. What does that mean? It means anything after this, say maybe we had a bunch of lines, it said skip all of these, then just go back to the start of the loop where n equals the next number, in this case 3. Oops, deleted the extra line there. So again, real simple, what continue means is keep going with the loop, but skip anything after it, and break means break out of the loop completely, stop it, and continue with the rest of your code. So hopefully you guys understand and I was actually going to teach you about functions in this tutorial but I think we're out of time. So well thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.